Greetings folks, Steve Vai here, and I'd like to tell you about a new distortion pedal that I designed with Ibanez. Now, I know there's a lot going on in the world right now with, uh, you know, the American dollar being so weak and gas prices being so high and the presidential elections right around the corner and all that stuff, but hey, we don't have to worry about any of that stuff because I have a new distortion pedal, and here it is. Now, uh, this is no ordinary distortion pedal. It's actually two separate distortion pedals in one, and it's called the Gemini. Uh, you know, since I'm a Gemini, and it's a sign of the twins, and I designed a guitar called the Gem, I'd like to invite one of my favorite people in the whole world to come out here and to help me tell you about this new pedal. Steve, come on out here. Hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey, man, thanks for joining us. Ah, uh, no problem. Did you uh, see this new pedal? Yeah, I designed it. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it has this beautifully psychedelic taffy-like color, just like the dip gems. Yes, and it's housed in this bulletproof metal case with the knobs recessed so that you don't kick them with your big size 13 foot when you're playing. Yeah, and it's got these extra large foot switches with uh, the Vi logo on it so that when you do click on it, you get to step all over us. And also these lights come on so you can really see what channel you're on. Each side has a drive control, which adjusts the level of the distortion, mm -hmm. and a tone control, and also a level control that adjusts the actual output level. Mm. And it even has a battery save switch. Mm. Yeah, you know when you go to change the batteries in one of your little stomp yeah. boxes and you got to get a screwdriver and start futzing around with it? <sighs> well, watch this. Good design, Steve. Yeah, good design, Steve. Yeah. You rock, by. No, you rock, by. No, you rock. Okay. okay, simmer down. Why don't I explain how the left side works and you explain the right? Well, since I'm sitting on the left and you're on the right, why don't I do the left and you do the right? Yeah, but uh, if you're holding it this way, you know, it doesn't really matter. Look, right? whatever you want, man. You're the boss. You're right about that, Steve. Mm. Now, the unit on the left is designed to have a very smooth kind of distortion with very even overtones. So it's relatively easy to play with with a lot of sustain and not a lot of sharp edges. Uh, my normal rhythm tone usually has a fair amount of distortion on it, so I'll just kick this puppy in when I'm looking for that little extra bit of mojo. Uh, something like this. You're a wanker, Vi. Yeah, so they say. The right side distortion is designed to be a lot grainier. Uh, has a lot more hair, so to speak. For this side, usually I crank the drive all the way up, make it kind of bright with the tone, and use it on the clean channel of the amp. This kind of gives you a real gnarly kind of a fat 
Bob Marley joint kind of a sound. You know what I'm saying? I'll show you. Okay, here's this guitar through the clean channel of the amp. And now here was with the distortion on, the Gemini distortion. I'm impressed. I figured you would be. Well, why don't we impress each other and play together? Cool. I, I like playing with you. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's do this thing where I'll use the dirty tone on my amp and then kick in my distortion for the solo, and you use your clean tone and then kick in your distortion for your solo after I play for eight bars or so. So you're going to go first and you're going to use the right side? And um, I... No, no, no. I'm going to use the left side because that's Look, the can side. we just play, man? You're always overthinking things and complicating the matter. You're never satisfied. Hey, hey, hey. I'm satisfied. I just like arguing with you. I can be so impossible sometimes. Yeah, and you could be such an asshole. You're the asshole. Screw you. <laughs> you wish. Look, do you want to play Jack Butler? Okay.
I'd say that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was all right. You know, we should make a record together and maybe go on tour. Well, why don't you do that? I'm going to go to Tahiti.